This video is one of a series numbered 1 to 8, which cover the basic concepts of the primary mathematics curriculum. There are two sets of supporting materials. One is the Maths Mesh Guide, a summary of research knowledge and pedagogical knowledge. The second is the Numeracy for All booklet, showing in detail how to make and use the resources mentioned here. OK, we looked at number tracks um, that are centimetres, so they can also be used for measuring. Um, but what's another very useful one is a number line. Now, the difference between a number line and a number track is that you see that with a number track, the number is actually written in the space, whereas here, the number is actually written on the line. So this is just a simple 0 to 20, but obviously you can make them uh, using whatever numbers you want, or just take a section. So this doesn't have to start from 0 every time. It could start from 100 and go from 100 to 120, or it could start from 1,000. So on, so you can make the number lines, whatever numbers on that that are appropriate for the children. Now, number lines are a very useful way for counting. So they're going to count one, two, three, four, and so on. You can ask them to find ten, find twelve. Yeah, they can start on a number. So find nine, and I want you to add on three. So they take three jumps: one, two, three, to give them their answer. Twelve. Find fifteen. I want you to subtract six, so they take six jumps, one, two, three, four, five, six, to find nine, and so on, okay? Blank number lines are also very useful, so this is an example of a blank number line, um, and so that you can make these whatever you want, all right? So you could use bottle tops of these, I've made the spaces a bit bigger for these, so that you could use bottle tops, so you could put some bottle tops on and you could say, okay, if that's 28, then I want you to tell me what this one's going to be. So the children are going to 28, 29, 30, 31. So now I need to find 32. So I've got a 32 in here somewhere. So this again is a good skill. I'm scanning, I'm looking around. If I'm 34, can I find 32? I expect you can find it before I can. I found 33, oh, there's 32. So I can put 32 on um, here, so on. Simple example. Can also use it for intervals. So if I put, um, let's see if I can find a nice simple one. So I'm going to start with, if this is 10 at the start, and this is, let's see if I can find what I'm looking for. Okay, I'm going to put 30 here. So now the children have got to try and work out, okay, well, what have I done to get from 10 to 30? Am I counting in tens? Well, if I'm counting in tens, that'll be 10, that'll be 20. So no, 30's all the way here. So it's going to be smaller than tens. Let's try fives. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So I know the interval is five. So now the teacher might say, okay, what will go here? So 30, 35, 40, 45. So I'm going to be looking for 50 to go here. Now, you can use number lines for numbers, but you can also get a little bit more complicated um, and they can be used maybe for fractions. So we can use it for ordering fractions. So this is zero and this, is, this can be a quarter. All right. This is going to be a half. This could be three quarters. This could be one. So now you're getting into um, whole numbers and fractions. So what is this going to be? What is this going to be? and so on. Okay, so you can use them for fractions. You can use them for decimals. So this is zero. And now instead of this being one, it's going to be one tenth. So it's 0 0.1. So you could use fractions written um, like this, or you can use them written as the decimal fraction. So 0 0.2. Okay, I'm going to miss one out. 0 0.4 so what is this one going to be so the children have to fill in the answer okay um, i'm going to miss one out i'm going to put what goes here so they have to work out that's 0 0.6 and so on okay so you can use them for fractions and then another thing that's very useful for is if we say to the children okay this is zero this is one so what's this so now going below zero, so we're introducing negative numbers. Okay, so minus one, 
minus 2. And here I have 1. Okay. And then you can use this then for negative numbers for addition or for subtraction. So you can say, oh, it's very cold today. The temperature outside is minus 2. And the temperature goes up by 3 degrees. So what is the temperature now? 1, 2, 3. It goes up to 1. Yeah. Or if we say the temperature today is 4 degrees, how much does it have to go down by to become minus 1? So I'm on 4 degrees. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I need a drop of 5 degrees in order to get down to minus 1. So number lines. Fantastic. Endless possibilities. Also very good for differentiation, depending on the numbers that you give the children. Okay, we've looked at some number lines and number lines are really, really useful way of um, children working out calculations and things. And they can quite simply draw their own number line. So you can draw a, just a blank number line. Um, and then, uh, for instance, if they're given a calculation, um, perhaps, I don't know, 27 plus 36. So they're going to start with on 27. And if they want to add on 36, they could add on the tens first of all. So they jump from 27 to 37, 37 to 47, 47 to 57. So they've added on 10, another 10, 20, another 10, 30. So they've added on the 36, at uh, 30. So now they need to add on their six. So they're going to take six small jumps, one, so 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63. Now another way you could do it, and it often comes down to preference, and the children can um, add the, the ones on first and then the tens. So they start off from 27, and they're going to add on their six units, um, so you could take it to the next 10. So if you know your number bonds to 10, then you know that 7 um, and 3 will take them to 30. And then going to take another 3, because I'm adding on 6, which will take me to 33. And then I can add on my 10s. So 33, 43, 44, 63. Adding 10 each time. So you can see how having a simple number line, a blank number line like this, can be very useful. More detail about the resources in this video and others can be found in this booklet, Numeracy for All Resources for Teaching Mathematics, a guide for teachers and trainers on how to make and use low cost or no cost teaching and learning aids to encourage active and playful learning for maths in the classroom. Okay, let's go and teach some maths. These videos are from a partnership between VSO International and the MESH Initiative. Both organisations have a commitment to share knowledge freely around the world for the benefit of teachers and learners. Yeah.